Glueless, glueless, glueless. A little baby hair action, a little baby hair action, but glueless. Can't even see it. You can't even see it. It's like it's not even there. Wow. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another cozy get ready with me. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. It is late, late, late. When I tell you this is a cozy get ready with me, it is late at night, and I'm slightly delirious, okay? I didn't even need no alcohol for this because it's all in here, girl. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. We're sipping today. I don't know what it is, but I've been loving juices, but I just water them down a little bit because it's a little bit too sugary for me. <laughs> that sounds disgusting, but this, I, do, I, do, I get the expensive pear juice. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the expensive one. <laughs> clink, 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 clink. Y'all tell me what you're drinking down below on this cozy night in. I was trying to do something sexy with this, but I think it's just making me feel like my clothes is falling off, so. It's really annoying me. For today's cozy night in, of course, we always feature like a full get ready with me. Girl, I put on makeup with pajamas on. But I do have on a Target like fake skim set, which I'm into. And um, I just did a little bit of makeup. And of course, we're going to do a little bit of scalpiana, y'all. I like to throw on a new scalp. And this one is a good one, baby, because she's glueless. It's just perfect for like a cozy night in. Because, girl, you could just toss this on when your man coming over or your partner's coming over. The girl, just throw this thing on, okay? <laughs> you ain't even got to worry about nothing. Because, look, girl, don't let nobody tug it, though. But, look, glueless, glueless, glueless. A little baby hair action, a little baby hair action, but glueless. It's a really easy wig install. And it's perfect for just, if you want to be cute, probably take some pictures inside, but not have your forehead, you know what I'm saying, suffocate. I'm excited to get into this, get ready with me. I'm also going to talk about what happened with my skin. We're going to do a little story time. We're just going to chat. Y'all know how we do. We just catch up like girls on the phone. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a quick phone call though, because I know you got stuff to do. We're also going to get into my favorite like nighttime fragrances before I go to bed because it helps me sleep. I don't even know what it is. Plus I like to smell good when I wake up. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get into this Get Ready With Me. And I do wanna say thank you to Janota Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you wanna see everything I did to customize this wig and how this wig looked right out of the box because mama is ready to wear. If you wanna see how I applied this wig and see the full review on this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back to the face and chat. So your wig is gonna come in the Janota hair box and of course inside that box you're gonna get some gifts. They gave a brush, a satin bag, a satin storage bag. I think this is a bonnet, that thing was pretty thick. And of course you get other gifts as well, baby hair brush, you know, all the stuff. Now the most important part is this wig. Now this wig is a gorgeous wear and go pre-cut lace air wig now this is called an air wig because you can just reach a scalp girl just you can scratch your scalp whatever you want to do you can actually feel your scalp with this wig this wig comes with pre-cut lace and it is a kinky curly texture it is 16 inches long and 150 percent density you're supposed to be able to wear this wig straight out of the box but y'all know me i like to do a little bit of something to it now the hairline is already pre-flattened but for me y'all know i gotta flatten this hairline i don't know what it is it's an impulse my arm starts moving and I'm flattening the hairline, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and use a wax stick. This is the, what is, wax stick is that? I always forget. I always wanna call it the You Go Girl wax stick. That's not what it's called. But it's a wax stick from Amazon. I'll leave it down below. I use it to um, flatten the hairline and I use my Red by Kiss hot comb to reinforce the flatness on there. Now, as you can see, the lace is already cut, so girl, that's already done. The next thing to do is trim the hair. Now, there was no rhyme or reason for this. I just felt like some of the ends were dry, and y'all know how I am about dry ends. I gotta clip them off, I gotta do it. It's another impulse I got. So I'm taking my Annie shears, and I'm just cutting off those dry ends before I add a little mousse Diana to it. Y'all know I love mousse. I love moisturizing curls, and we need to get these curls to start looking like more natural curls and less like machine curled curls. So I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Y'all know I love this stuff. You distribute it all the way through the hair and then I take my Evolve 572 brush 
to brush through these curls. The reason why I brush through the curls is to detangle the hair and to clump, clump the curls together. And next, I'm going to use this pop lock gel from The Do. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about this gel. I just bought it and I've been testing it out. I like it, but I'm not sure if I love it. But it does get the hair like a much, I would say like crispier curl. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a crunchier curl. So if you want like a little bit more crunchy curls, I feel like this is a good product to use. But I'm going to work all the way through the hair and distribute the pop lock gel. Now, one thing I think it does, it stops the hair from frizzing. I noticed with the Shea Moisture Mousse, the hair still does frizz. I like frizz, so it don't matter to me. But for the people that don't like frizz, I think using a gel over top helps to seal in that moisture without the hair like getting super frizzy, especially on humid days. Speaking of humid days, this wig is perfect for humid days. The way I can touch my scalp right now, this air wig is amazing. It's super duper light and it still has a good amount of hair on it. I absolutely love it. Now we're gonna work all the way up to the top of this wig using the same products, girl. Nothing's changed. After we work all the way to the top, clump these curls together and trim the ends off a little bit, um, we're gonna move forward onto just drying out these curls. Now, with the Shea Moisture Mousse, I do love the Shea Moisture Mousse, but it does hold the water in the hair. So be careful, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. Now, in order to reinforce this hairline, because I done messed it up doing all this hairstyling and stuff, I don't even know why I flattened the hairline first. I knew this was gonna happen, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use my Got To Be Glue Gel just to re-flatten the hairline and make sure she's stuck, okay? Like Chuck, nobody says that, okay? Aunties say that, but I'm an auntie, so I can't. I can say that. Now, I'm running out of words, girl, I'm tired. <laughs> Now, we're just going to go ahead and dry this hair. I'm going to put this hair under my dryer. You can get one from Amazon. I got mine from my local beauty supply store. It dried for like a couple hours. Next, I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace. Of course, y'all know I'm going to use my Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray in the color Medium Brown. And I'm going to distribute the color with a brush and then set in the color with my uh, Dyson Blow Dryer. After all of that color is set in, I'm gonna go ahead and use my wig grip and wig cap as a base. Girl, that's a holy wig grip, but girl, who cares? Not the wig grip, it's a holy wig cap. I'm not worried about that wig cap, girl. As long as I got the wig grip on, we good. So we don't have to do the ball cap method, and I don't think the ball cap method works out with a wig like this. So this is a good alternative for those of you that are used to the ball cap method, but you, you know are looking for alternatives. This one's it, okay, that's what I'm saying. Now. Um, we're not going to go ahead and, and lay this down. This is going to be a completely glueless wig install. Y'all know glueless wig installs are a little bit difficult, but one thing I love to do with my glueless wig installs is do baby hairs. So we cut down some baby hairs and I'm gonna lay them down using the Got To Be Glue Gel. Now, let me tell you something. This baby hair brush was so rough, girl. I know I got micro cuts in my forehead. <laughs> it's gel all up and through this baby hair brush, but that's okay. We still were able to lay down these baby hairs. The only thing that happened, as you can see, is that some of the lace tint was running all over my forehead, but that's okay. So I'm gonna use my um, Edge Control. It's from the same brand that I used before. I forgot what this brand is called. So good, you're so good. Girl, I don't forgot. <laughs> I'm using that to lay down my natural baby hair so this wig looks more like a, um, frontal and i'm just gonna go ahead and lay those baby hairs down then fluff out the hair it's super duper simple all you have to do is style the hair and go and fluff up these curls and baby these curls are eating and look at that hairline look at that hairline and this hairline is a four and a half or this closure is a four and a half by five closure so it covers so much of the head that you don't even have to, it's almost like a lace frontal without the ear tabs, which is like the perfect sort of way, cause who deals with ear tabs? Now we're going to melt down these baby hairs. I also find that melting down the hairline, even if you're not using any adhesive, helps to make the wig look more melty. You know what I'm saying? It makes it melt into the skin just a little bit better. So I do that for about 10 minutes using a rapid strip and an elastic band. Then we're gonna take that down. And when I tell you, 
baby, it melts. Like this looks like it's growing out of my scalp. Like there's no, there's no gel or glue under there. Like that is crazy. Now next I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC stick foundation. I love using a stick foundation to conceal my part because obviously I didn't do the ball, ball cap method. So it can be a mess. So you gotta conceal your part. So I did cut off some extra lace on the side. It was sticking up. But baby, when I tell you this is glueless and it looks like it's growing out of my scalp, it's super duper easy to apply. You have all the lace you need without the muss and fuss of an ear tab. It's amazing. I love this wig. She's top tier. And if you're interested in this wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. I also will leave a coupon code down below for 15% off. If you are interested, y'all tell me what you think about this unit down below. But now we need to match up this face with this lace. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started on the face. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's gonna be real simple. Over here, I'm trying to do this in like 15 minutes uh, because it's it's like, what, 12.23? And girl, I'm not going nowhere but to be hit, okay? So, of course, this is a cozy night in, so I'm wearing some PJs. Look, so I got these PJs from, um, actually, let me take this off. I just ate dinner, so, hold on. Girl, I'm trying to suck in a something. I want this to look like something. I got these PJs from Target. I got the robe from Target too. I actually, these are supposed to be like a um, Skims dupe. So like the Skims bottom. So this is like a Skims like sort of bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like the, y'all know this type. Y'all seen these. It's pretty cute and the top came with it. They have it in all types of colors, but girl, I had to search through, I had to search through the wreck to find this. I'll leave a link for it down below because I was I was searching for this one because I had seen it somewhere. It's really, really comfortable and you couldn't get me to buy skims. I don't know, I've looked at skims, I put skims in my cart and then I don't get it. I can't bring myself to do it. I cannot bring myself to buy skims. I don't know what it is, I'd be anti for no reason because I want some of the stuff. But if I can find it somewhere else, I would much rather get that. But this is like a little Skims dupe and I like it. Let's go ahead and do the face. So the goal for today is obviously y'all see some discoloration around my mouth. We'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> but we have some, I have some discoloration around my mouth. So I wanna cover that, but I want it to be natural because why am I, I'm not putting on a thick layer of makeup. I'm just not doing it. So yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. While we do that, of course, we're gonna chat, but we're gonna make it, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be a quick phone call, girl. I'm just picking up the phone and I'm calling you real quick. So I forgot that I had Smashbox foundation. I don't know if the girls use Smashbox anymore, but I do. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the sponge. I have not been using primer lately because girl, I just didn't want to. I just wanted to put as little products on my face to irritate, that irritate my skin. So, um, yeah, okay, I'm just trying to pull my hair back a little bit. I feel I feel like that works. Maybe they look a little bit of a fool, but I, I feel like this cute. Okay, let's go ahead and do the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Smashbox foundation in 4.05. It's in the skin tone dark and the undertone warm peach. And I'm just gonna put it straight onto the sponge. And we're gonna apply it to the face. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Oh, girl. <laughs> right onto the face. Okay. So I'm just gonna concentrate on covering this area first. But I'm not trying to um I'm not trying to do a full coverage face. I just want to cover up this area. As you can see, it's a little bit light. We may not even be able to cover it up, to be honest. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. But what I have been doing is just like been putting makeup just in the center of my face that has like an orange tint and put on some concealer and then that's been it really. So that's what we're gonna do today. Anyways, so how are y'all been doing? Y'all know I love to do a check-in. How y'all been doing? I know y'all responding over there. Y'all let me know how, down below how y'all been doing. I've been doing pretty well this week. I be feeling like every single time I do get ready with me, I be like, this week was hard. It was pretty tough and I think I told y'all in the vlog that I was having a tough time because of what had happened with my skin, girl. Oh my God, it's a whole thing. I feel like this um 
skin issue has been i was in a rut baby it was itching i'll go ahead and get into where i think it came from because it took like a minute i was girl y'all know how it is though when you have like an issue with your face like it's just like your face like why why on my face girl why for you gotta do that it's a nice little foundation though but it didn't really cover anything so where's my i need to find that original stuff i was gonna use see this born this way will cover it because <laughs> i feel like the born this way um foundation in chai if i do a little bit of spot concealing will do it oh this stuff is thick there you go okay you see that oh that's what i'm talking about let me just talk about what i think where this all started like with my skin because i don't even think i think i mentioned it on the vlog but i have been on the hunt to figure out like where did this come from because if you know like my skin i usually not i don't have any issues with my skin just randomly so um my husband and i went on vacation and when we went on vacation i told y'all in a vlog that i brought bought a product where's my um oh why is that burning my uh, little spot i don't like that Oh, we gotta get through this fast, girl. I don't like my, my little thing on my face. I don't like how that makeup feel. So, um, I'm gonna get up under the eyes too with the born this way. Y'all see, I'm just only applying to the center of my face. But either way, we we're going on vacation. We went to Naples. And before we went to Naples, I bought some facial wipes. And when I bought the facial wipes, I was like, these are super cute. I showed them to you on the vlog. And when I um, bought the facial wipes, I used one before I left on the trip. I'm gonna use the MAC NC45 concealer to conceal. I used a little bit on the trip. Well, I used like one of the wipes on the trip. I got it from Amazon. I think I saw another influencer that purchased them themselves say like, oh, I love this stuff. And I was like, perfect. I was tired of using washcloths on my face because I didn't think it was sanitary. I wanted to get some cloths that I can clean my face with that would like I wouldn't have to keep using washcloths. They, they were biodegradable, all that type of stuff. I packed some for our trip in Naples. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry down. I packed some for our trip in Naples and I used like one or two before we went on the trip. My skin was fine, nothing happened. We go on the trip, I use them all on the trip. They're really, really convenient, love them. And then um, I get home and I start to notice like burning a little bit in that area, but I thought I'd be rough on my face. I don't know if y'all see me wash my face before i don't know if i've done a skincare routine i will do a skincare routine but um i'm really rough on my face so i was like oh girl you rubbing your face but then i started noticing like when i was going to the gym i would see like these lighter areas on my face it would be like red and it would burn and i was like what is going on girl what is going on with my skin so uh they started getting lighter and lighter and they then they started to raise like the spots had texture and they rose like up a little bit can they don't have texture anymore thank god but um uh, they were like getting like bigger and brighter and spreading and i was like panicking and i just was i started to i felt like it was my skincare so i was like let me change my skincare start changing around my skincare girl nothing happened it got worse it felt like it was getting worse because it was itching and like burning so i was like what is going on so I think one day after, I don't know why I thought like, oh, I wonder what's up with them wipes. Girl, I look at the reviews. I looked down. I looked at the worst reviews, like the lowest. You know how you can go on Amazon and sort by the reviews. You looked at the, I looked at the ratings and I looked at the lowest ratings. And maybe three or four people said they had the same exact symptoms I had. And I was like, what? <laughs> Who knew that washcloths could do that to your skin? And it's these ones right here girl and i went to like went through like three or four boxes these are the clean towels um so yeah so that's what had happened it didn't happen to a lot of people it got really really high reviews from a lot of people um But for me and a couple of other people, we had this skin thing. One person said it looked like their chin skin was coming off. And I was like, what are we, what is going on? Like I literally was really, really confused. And I really was upset with myself for purchasing a product without looking at the worst reviews. That's what I typically do when I go on Amazon or any website. I'll look at the worst reviews. 
and see like what they if there was like a consist consistent statement like that someone said i'm gonna use a laura mercier powder like if there was a consistent um what do you call it complaint then I'm and I look at the complaint and if it's something like not a big deal somebody said like oh I don't like the color of this or I don't like the whatever if the complaint is not that serious then I will still buy it but if the complaint is like girl I lost my skin <laughs> I'm not gonna buy it if I saw that review I wouldn't have bought it so or I saw those reviews so yeah girl I'm just letting y'all know I am gonna do like a skincare routine or something to show y'all how I'm recovering my skin because girl, it was like horrible. Um, I still need to go to the dermatologist to figure out exactly what it is that happened. Um, but the people that said they stopped using that product or this product, they said that after a week it went away. So I've only stopped using it for two days and it's already starting to get better. So you know what I'm saying? So. Probably gonna do a full skincare routine. I just wanna figure out exactly like is, did that product really mess up my skin and what ingredient, what ingredient is in it? So I'm gonna go to a dermatologist and talk to them about that to figure out like, should I avoid that ingredient going forward? Because this product is just a towel. It's not like a, um, what do you call it? It's not like a, what do you call that? <laughs> like a skincare product where it's like a liquid that will penetrate your skin. It sits on top of your skin. So I'm scared to even touch the towels. I'm like, girl, I'm like, nah, I can't, I'm allergic to it. <laughs> so, but I was using those like two or three times a day. So yeah, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. But other than that, girl, we're doing good over here. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm on the upside now that I see improvement with my skin. Cause I was really thinking like, oh my, you know, sometimes I go down rabbit holes. I wasn't thinking that it would last forever, but it feels like, girl, when is this going away? Then I ended up going on Google. Girl, it just turned into a whole thing. But like I said, other than that, everything is good. Everything is great. Skin is going back to normal and I'm feeling good. As far as my stomach, I think I talked about that before. My stomach's doing good. I feel like I'm doing better this week. I don't know, my mouth is like dry. I usually have like a liquid over here. I got a little bit of a backwash over here, but that's it. I think my lesson is always look at the worst reviews. Always look at the worst reviews and go through them, especially when it comes to like skincare and stuff, because no ma'am. The reason why I don't really do a lot of skincare routine stuff or I even try new skincare is because I do have, I never thought I had sensitive skin, but I think like it scares me to like say a product is like really, really great. And then it ends up like messing up somebody's skin. Like that is freaky to me. Cause who knew? Like I heard, I saw an influencer who, you know, was well-meaning that said that this product was great. I bought it and it wasn't great for me. Okay. Wasn't great for me. <laughs> Ruin my skin. I guess things are different for everybody, but it was just crazy for me. I'm going to use the lip bar blush. Girl, we're almost done. And it looks like a full face, baby. Yes. But I did do a particular skincare routine to see if I can get the color back in my skin because I completely lost color like right here under my chin. So I'm using like, I did my Googles, which I need to stay off Google. <laughs> Cause if you look at my search history, you'd be like, girl, what is going on with you? If you look at my search history, you'd be really confused as to what I was going through. Oh girl, it's just like, really, it really covered it up. Shout out to, um, what was that, Born This Way? Who's this, Too Faced? I didn't just almost drool, like why did I do that? Girl, I think we basically done with the face. I'm not doing nothing else. <laughs> I need to fill in my brows though because I be leaving my brows hanging sometimes and I end up looking the fool. Okay, shout out to Rodney. Uh, I didn't powder my brows cause I usually, I just didn't feel like it, but I guess I powder them now. I forgot I had this um, NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen. Now I noticed like I like a brown brow pencil. So this is a NYX brow pencil in the color Espresso. I literally just blanked out. And I'm gonna use the brow and snatch, which is like a, it's like a pin pin. It's almost like an eyeliner. 
in the color espresso and I'm gonna like fill in my brows like oh okay I feel like I shouldn't have done that I'm gonna do hair like strokes okay I really shouldn't have done that <laughs> I just want darker brows sometimes the pencils just don't Give me the brown I'm looking for. Wow. Oh, see, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay. Oh, why are my eyes burning? What did I do? Oh, God. I don't know why I did that to my eyebrow. Okay, and I'm just going to brush through my brows. I think it like adds just a little bit more of an intense color, you know? Wow, I really like that combo on my skin. It did burn a little bit, but I like that combo. <laughs> okay, so do I want a highlighter? Maybe. I feel like a highlighter will be fitting and then we'll be done. I'm not spraying my face down. I'm not doing that. I probably should, but I just like, I don't want to do nothing else to my face. Like I just don't, I'm terrified. Y'all gonna get sick of me in this lip bar palette, but I'm telling you, I love lip bar and I love this palette. I love the palette. It's a good palette. So I'm just gonna add a little blush up here. Not blush. What is this? Highlighter? I'm so happy highlighter came back. Like the girls was acting like highlighter was giving very much um, skinny jeans. Like it was played out and only for aunties. But I'm happy it came back. What else is going on? Girl, I don't feel like much is going on. It's Mother's Day weekend. Y'all tell me if you're doing something. It's a busy weekend over in our household, but I'm excited to do some stuff. Girl, what am I even talking about? Let me let this hair down. <laughs> I would put on some earrings because I feel like I look naked. But this is pretty. Oh, I need to do my lips. What am I going to put on my lips, girl? You see how you can do a full face in just a couple minutes? Girl, this is a full, this is technically a full face, but it's not a full face. I just basically focus like the thick products in the center and then on the outside I'll do like nothing. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna use the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the color Rebel Kind. You already know what it is. You already know what it's, what it's about. Shout out to the pair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why is my that hard on lip tender? So weird. Okay, I'm just gonna line around my lips. Oh, girl, that's pretty. I feel like I'm just gonna toss on a lip gloss and call it a day, right? Ooh, I don't even know why I be standing this lip gloss because it burns my lips down. So I'm gonna use the lip gloss. Um, what is this? The lip injection, the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme lip gloss. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. But y'all let me know what's going on with y'all down below. Have y'all ever had a reaction from a skincare product? Because I never thought I had sensitive skin because I don't think I've ever had a reaction to a skincare product. I have reactions to deodorants, girl. But like on my face, never. Girl, I love a glossy lip. Now where's the earrings? I do need an earring. I was going to not do an earring. But I need an earring. Why am I lip? Why am I drooling? pop these earrings on and I'm gonna show y'all like my nighttime fragrance because this is a cozy get ready with me like what I like to and then I'm gonna show y'all my outfit in my new mirror because I got this mirror from Amazon <laughs> girl she is cute okay okay so finish look on the face you see wow wow isn't that stunning that is gorgeous and quick girl you could do this face in about five minutes tops okay and it covered up all my discoloration like nothing on the chin you can't even see it you can't even see it it's like it's not even there wow well actually i can see it a little bit in person i'm not gonna lie to y'all <laughs> i saw the hair like it looks so pretty and natural and the fact that it is glueless it's like what are we what are we even talking about it's glueless it's boneless okay and this is like a it's not dewy looking, but it's not too matte, I don't think. It's a little bit matte. It looks a little dry, this face. But I feel like I'm okay with it. I feel a little delusional right now. Do I sound delusional? I feel like I, I look, I sound delusional. 
at night. This is my favorite scent at night. I wear it every single time and I'm running out of this and I need to get some more because I need this like for sleep. So my favorite combo is the Brazilian Crush number 62 pistachio and salted caramel uh, Brazilian bum bum cream spray or Brazilian Crush. You know it's from that um brand Sol Janeiro. I spray this on first after I get out of the shower I moisturize all that type of stuff and then I like to use my Joe Malone uh silver birch and lavender cologne when I tell you I love lavender before I go to sleep so I'll, I'll use a lavender soap a lavender lotion I love la lavender because it's like soothing before I go to sleep so like spray that on and I spray this on baby I smell <laughs> What's going on? Why do I inhale? Like, why do I inhale? I'm still inhaling, but it smells so good together. I don't know if it's supposed to go together, but it goes together. I feel like vanilla and lavender, like when you're going to sleep, it's just perfect. It's perfect. So, um, let me show y'all my outfit. Hold on, let me show it to you. I got a little long hair over here. Okay. Um. Can y'all even see me? I think you can see me. Okay. I want to look like I got hips. This is annoying. Let me turn this around. This is looking. This is a finished look, girl. Right here. Okay. Let me turn you around. This is a finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I definitely could have closed this whole video out over there, but I want it to be different. So. <laughs> This is what we did. But I want to say thank you to Janota Hair for providing this week to me. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and good night. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. I hope you are relaxed. I hope you had a great time chatting. Y'all let me know your horror stories from the products that you've used because girl, we all had them. So anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.